Uh, oh, this is Blanco here. <laughs> oh, everyone wants to say I'm gonna pick Jeremy as the winner. Because Jeremy's the reason why I have my YouTube channel. Jeremy's the reason why I still craft. Everyone says, oh, he, he's gonna pick Jeremy. No. Everyone says, oh, you're gonna pick Scotty DM. Scotty DM's the godfather. Scotty DM's the best. <laughs> no. Everyone says, I'm gonna pick DMG for the winner. Everyone says, he's the guy. I love that man. I love him more than a father. Am I gonna pick him? No. Am I gonna pick the crafting muse? A person who's a much better painter than me, a person who has the skills to win the day with her glazing techniques. You would have to be a fool not to pick her. Am I gonna pick her? No. I am picking Wylock to win the whole thing. Do you know why? Because Wylock is the ultimate black horse in this competition. I did I did not even talk to him. I looked at him briefly before the competition, and I looked into his eyes, and by God, those were the eyes of a man who's going to win. So on November 7th, I got on a flight headed to Charlotte, North Carolina. I'd never been there before, but I had a good reason to go. I was going to Mace. I was going to go meet some of my best friends for the very first time. And of course, to make some new ones. Mace is a tabletop gaming convention that's been going on for something like 23 years. Last year, a few of the tabletop crafters guild masters were there, but this year, this year was really special because all of us would be there. All of us, as well as many other great content creators and artists. But more on that in a minute. The first day was pretty relaxed and I spent most of it without a camera, meeting all the people I've grown really close to over the years via online interaction. I got to meet the guy who started it all for me, DM Scotty of the DM's Craft, the Craft Father, the guy who started so much of this. And I'll tell you, he's every bit as wonderful in person as he is in video. I also got to meet his other half, Gareth, better known as the DMG Info. Scotty and Gareth also combined forces to make up quest givers. Gareth made by far the longest journey to the convention, all the way from Australia, and the crazy man himself decided to fly to the other side of the country and spend several days driving to the site of the convention rather than directly to it. Well, actually, I guess that's a pretty great idea. I also got to meet Bill, who you probably know as Wylock from Wylock's Armory, another titan that came before me. He might not have been the guy that inspired me to start crafting, but it's safe to say he was one of the main guys that inspired me to start making videos. Wylock, well, I learned that in person, Wylock is one of the calmest and most collected people I've ever met. He's very methodical as a human being, and a lot of his approach to crafting makes more sense now that I've met him in person. There was V, also known as the Crafting Muse, who actually became a member of the guild at last year's Mace. And I'm glad that she did, because I gotta be honest, we needed someone to keep us four goofs in line. I got to meet so many people. I got to meet other creators like Blanco, who gave what was definitely the most memorable soundbite of the entire weekend. Frankie D, who runs an up and coming channel that is totally awesome. Honestly, he's probably my favorite small channel right now. His personality is infectious. He gave me my favorite memento from this convention. Two totally rad little blob dudes. I, I don't know what they are, but I really love them. There's so many people I'd love to mention here. Other creators gamers, artists, and even a bunch of my Patreon supporters that I got to meet in person. But I have to spend this moment mentioning my friend Danny. Danny runs a channel called 3D Printed Tabletop, and this is a guy I talk to almost every single day, and only on this trip did I finally get to meet him in person. So big shout out to him, uh, and especially a thanks for operating my camera while I was competing in the guild build. On the first night, the guild masters and some other creators hosted a meet and greet where we got to talk a bit and answer questions from the audience. Most importantly though, it served as our stage to welcome Jim, 
the tabletop engineer into the guild as the newest guild master. Jim has made huge community contributions via his YouTube channel, Facebook streams, and his Bexham's Bazaar magazine. I love this guy very much, and it was an honor to spend a bunch of time with him and be able to add him to the guild. After the meet and greet, Jim hosted a little car building event for Gaslands. I jumped in and grabbed some bits and made my own little death machine. It was really fun to just pick up some tools and start hobbying amongst friends and strangers alike. While I didn't end up with the nicest of cars, it's a piece that I'm gonna absolutely treasure because of the memories attached to it. And it was more than good enough to use in the Gaslands demo Jim hosted the next night. Day two started with a demo of Grim Dark Future hosted by Wylock. I honestly didn't care too much about playing the game or learning the rules, but I was really excited to get to play with and on some of the terrain that I've watched him build in his videos. It's really interesting to see it in person versus on the screen. And again, this is such a good memory to take back home with me. The biggest event of the day, however, was the Guildmaster Craft-Off. The five of us were thrown into a room full of random supplies and tools and given exactly three and a half hours to build some sort of terrain. There weren't any other constraints or guidelines, but the time limit and lack of access to familiar tools provided more than enough challenge. We all set to work quickly. I grabbed some foam and ran over to the Proxon and started cutting. I actually got really held up by technical issues here. There was something really wrong with this machine's guide and I couldn't get it to sit properly in the groove. After struggling with it for a while, I broke a wire and fearing I was losing too much time to this, I grabbed some foam core and set to work working with a knife. A really, really big knife. Far bigger than I'd ever use on a project like this, but there was no exacto in sight. But hey, it was a challenge and a great example of having to be resourceful when the tools you want are not available. The next three hours were some of the best I've ever had. Sure, I was under a ton of pressure and quite honestly buckling under it, but being there with these people and crafting together, it really reminded me what this is all about. It's so easy to lose sight of the reasons you do a hobby, and an event like this reminded me why I love it so much. It's not about building, it's about inspiration and creativity. It's about community. Feeding off the energy of my fellow guildmasters gave me a reboot I desperately needed. I really can't put into words how special this was for me, to be in a room crafting with people I idolize and respect. Just being able to see Scotty work his magic in person is an amazing thing, but to craft alongside him? Well, that's something I still haven't quite processed. And I still can't get over what the five of us managed to build in only three and a half hours. That's really not a lot of time, especially when working outside of your own space, but somehow we all managed. I think this was a great example of determination overcoming limitation, which at the end of the day is sort of what all of our channels are about. Making things with what you have and hobbying despite whatever constraints you may face. In the end, the judges came to their conclusion. I heard it was a tough one, but I'm not really sure. The whole time, I myself had a feeling who would be winning. Without a doubt, there is a reason Scotty is the godfather or craft father here. A well-deserved win for what was easily the best of the bunch. On the final day, I was already pretty exhausted, but I got up early to sit down with Jim, Danny, and Kemper to play a game of two versus two Frostgrave. Danny and Kemper had never played before, but it did not matter. We still managed to get through a great game that was a lot of fun. And by the way, me and Danny, we won, for what it's worth. Later that day was another highlight. I got to play in a game run by DM Scotty. And I got to play it alongside some of my fellow guildmasters as well as some viewers and even a Patreon supporter. It was so cool. I can't even begin to express how ridiculously awesome this game was. It was hands down the best game I've ever played. Full stop.
I'm doing my best here to capture what I experienced during this event, but in all honesty, it was a whirlwind, and I can't possibly express everything I felt in words, and I certainly was too busy enjoying myself to capture the best moments on video. So I'll leave this here. Community. That's what these sorts of events are all about. That's what all of this is about. It's about nurturing ideas, inspiring people. It's about taking inspiration and running with it. It's about friends, new friends and old ones. It's about people. And above all else, that's what I will remember from this event, the people. I'm really grateful that the MACE team invited me to come and I wanna thank them for all their work. Running something like this isn't easy and people like this are crucial to a successful community. This may have been my first MACE, my first visit to an American convention, but I promise you, it won't be my last. Thanks everybody. See you again next year.